Ricardo. Obviously, it's me, Nikki, because this is my channel. I'm always here for you day and night. We're back with another scenario, scenario, like I've said in the multiple videos before this. I'm going to say how I want to say it, because it's my channel. Y'all can't dictate what I do. Anyway, we're back with another one, and this one, again, I, like I always said, I'm going to be reading, because it takes too much time for me to be putting pictures up. Anyway, this one says, ladies, your husband is dying, and you are by his bedside. One day you come to the hospital and find a woman in his room with two children, ages four and seven. That's a good, th that's like a th good three year gap. He admits that this was his side chick and that these are his kids with her. He admits to being unfaithful and that he was her primary source of income while living. Your husband passes away a few days later and never left anything to the woman or the kids in his will. You receive his $2.5 million life insurance policy. You live a comfortable life already. Would you give his additional family a portion of the money? And be honest about the situation. Okay. Um. First of all, I would have slapped him silly in a hospital room. Well, no, I would have told her. No, I would have asked her, can you please take the kids out? Or, um, can somebody take the kids out the room? And then, he was gonna get this work. Because, first of all, I don't care if you in the hospital, on your deathbed. You know what? This has happened for so long. This has happened in history. I don't understand. Not, I don't understand. But this has happened. Because I have a, like, I know a few family members. I know a few people. And it's been happening for a long time. The man got a family on one block. And he got a, a family right around the corner. And... The woman stays, whether she knows it, whether she knew about the other family or not, and she stay and she take everything everybody got to say or take the stairs for the people who know the side piece, well not the side piece, the other family and her and her, her kids and everything and it doesn't come out until the funeral. This happened for forever. So I would have had somebody take the kids out the hospital room. Then he he would have got cussed out. That's just me. I'm being honest. He would have got cussed out. And then I would have had an honest conversation with um, the mother of his children. Like, did you know about me? And if you did, why did you continue to uh, see him? Because I don't know how long between... Like, I don't know how long before uh, the child who's seven that y'all were messing around. But... It's like a three year age gap between y'all children. Like how long were y'all together behind my back before y'all had y'all a uh, child, the first child, and then continue to have more children? That would be another question. It's just like, if she didn't know, I would, like if the um, other woman didn't know, I would feel bad because you can basically just... You didn't, like, ruin this woman's perception of you. You've also ruined the perception of uh, what type of father you are to your children, especially when they get older and ask certain questions about you. Because when kids get older, they do start to find out things about their parents that they never knew. And sometimes it changes the perception of their parents from good to bad and bad to good. That's just the whole situation. Um, the fact that I, uh, getting $2.5 million in a life insurance policy, and the fact that he left nothing for, like, the other woman and his children, that's messed up. Like, she got to get a job. That's one. But it's messed up you left nothing for your children. Those are your kids. You laid down with that woman and made them kids. You were there for those kids. Those kids actively call you daddy. Those kids have to mourn you. Those kids no longer have a father for you to not leave them anything is messed up and since I'm already living a comfortable life yes I will put I will set something up I will set up like an account for them whatever they need because I'm not a cold and heartless person yeah I might feel some type of way but I'm gonna feel some type of way about the person who did the deed and 
I can't feel some type of way because this didn't say if in the scenario if me and my husband had children or like had children but I would feel some type of like if we did have children then that's uh my children and her children they're siblings so if I'm taking care of my kids and if he was actively taking care of my kids as well like not my kids our kids and providing for them and they're in his will why wouldn't you have your other children in the will as well they're siblings so we gonna have play dates they gonna know each other if like kids are involved in this scenario with but since it wasn't mentioned I'm still gonna help take care of those kids I'm already living very comfortably I don't I don't have any ill will towards those children they weren't they weren't asked to be brought into this world they just were and they weren't asked to be brought into the situation they just were and it's not their fault that their father couldn't keep his thing in his pants and it's not their fault that their father was a liar and a cheater and had two families so I don't know how like 2.5 million I'm already living comfortably I probably got a good job the house probably already paid off. The only thing I'm paying is utilities. I probably have a nice car if I'm living comfortably. I would split that. I legit would split that between me and the children. My mama got to get a job though. Like I can't take care of you. You grow, you grown one, but I will help with the kids. Like I can't take care of grown people. So you have to get a job. But for the kids, I would split it. Evenly between me and the kids, we just gonna split that evenly, and um, then you like between me and the kids, we gonna split that money. So if it's just me and then the kids, we gonna split that evenly, and then I'll have to split the money between the kids, so each of them has some type of situation set up for them for the future, or just like an allowance, so their mother be able to you know buy them things like a trust fund, like and the trust fund has like. A certain amount of money you can get through the years or whatever. Because he wrong. Either, he's the person in the wrong. He messed up this whole situation. And if she knew about, like, the fact that he was a married man, she wrong too. But I'm not going to do that to them children. So I'm going to read the comments and see what the people in the comments got to say. From where I got this scenario. Uh, one person said in his first comment I saw was, I would give maybe 200000 to those kids. Maybe, yeah, to the kids. Those kids never asked to be here. Again, like I said, children don't ask to be born. They just are. And they're not asked, they don't ask to be born into the situations they are born into. It's your job as a parent to take care of them and make sure you nurture them and you guide them and you sort of teach, like not sort of teach them, but you teach them the lessons they'll need as an adult. Oh, a lot of people saying no. Y'all mean. Oh, y'all mean. Uh, one comment said, hell no. He should have took care of them in life and in death. No way in hell are they my responsibility after the fact. Ouch. Uh, this other one said, the kids can get a trust fund. The mama can kick rocks how I feel and uh, this last one says and it's the last comment I'm gonna read they will get money from me when they 18 and can take care of themselves I'm not supporting their mother at all right like whether you know about me or you didn't know about me I don't take care of grown people you got to get a job okay but them kids I will help take care of because unfortunately the person I married was a liar and a cheater and that was this scenario Ugh, people, stop having other families if you're not going to take care of them in life and death, okay? And if you, like, tell me what y'all would do in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't still like, comment, and subscribe, like I said before, it takes one to two seconds to subscribe. Just subscribe and like and watch. And again, if you're at the end of this video, then you can always hear what I have to say. Peace. I love y'all.